Falling and catching. Rise up and let the wind take you there. Put your head down. Keep it down, girl. Arms. More arms. You see what happens when you listen to me? Reach down and grab the victory. Feel the power, girl. Inside and out. Drive and pull. That's what you are. They can't catch a divas unless you want to be caught. Get going, girl. I saw it. Is that a record? Barely. That long takeoff, short touchdown. Head way up in the clouds somewhere. Bobby, I won. And so does a hundred other girls in a hundred other places. And if you don't stay on it, the games are gonna slip right through your fingers. I keep trying to tell you. You ain't gonna listen. Okay, I'll tighten my takeoff and work on my touchdown. Hey, Dee, congratulations. You won the day.
You're supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. I know that. Uh, how do you do? Hello. Hi, how are you? Where were you? The Cater River's Lake. Hi. Yeah. 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 Here you go, sir. I'm never used to making it. Hello. How do you do? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Everything's okay. Don't make a fuss. All right. Don't you look nice? No. Hi, ma'am. Yes, okay. You can put that package right in over there. Why do we always get nervous? I don't understand. Well, I don't remember. It's been so long since your uncle and I got married. But it's... One more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay, now, is that, is that the last one? Just ten more. Oh, no, no, no. I, we have to get married. Ready. Whose cousin are you? Why, why? This is RJ's second cousin. What, uh, yeah, Kenny. I tell you, but let let's get her ready. We'll see you outside. Oh, okay. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, one more. Coach Kersey, so glad to see you. You too, Reverend Davis. Gail will be here. Oh yeah, thrilled. I'm not gonna make a run today. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank the Lord, I only have to do this once. Uh, what do you think? Well, you know, I think they might just make it. Why don't give me a front row seat and watch the festivities? All right. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Well, see you at the reception. Thank you. What is... Something's wrong here. I'm going to have to take a tuck in this. Oh, this... no. I mean, well, you can't take a tuck in this. Honey, is this fits you. Look at perfectly a week ago. Well, well how I could you lose My so body's much... always changing. Well, how could you lose so much weight in one week? Oh. Come on, Mimo. It's okay. Well... And nobody's going to notice but you. I know. Okay, get your granny's diamond earrings over there on the table. Careful, careful, careful. Congressman, how are you? So nice to see you. Thank you. Uh-uh. No, Mimo. You are not going to do this again. No. Not again, child. I'm so happy today, Mimo. I hope it stays that way forever. Did you deserve it? Why? We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in the holy state of matrimony. It is a solemn moment and one not to be added into lightly. You may now kiss the bride. I sing Sure, you know how to do that now. You know, you used to be able to dance. Oh, quiet. I'm just waiting for my song. All the people on the street. Let's go, Miss Jackie. <laughs> All right. Hey. Congratulations. Hey, Miss Pam. Baby girl. So happy for you. Oh, there I go again. <laughs> hey, man. man. You know, you owned a pair of hard shoes, Coach. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to get up the track from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sing together. You all leave my handsome husband alone. You heard that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we dance? Let's dance. Right. And two boots so fine. And by the Ooh, way stop it. Bobby that I forget to say she's so fine. First of all, on behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Hampton, my wife and myself, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming. I think it's about time that we let these young people go and begin their married life. But before they do, I want to say a few words, because that's what ministers do when I pay for the wedding. <laughs> You've got to know that this is one of the happiest moments of my life. We've all seen Gail grow up in this church family. And we've seen her grow into a champion runner blessed with divine power. R.J., her husband, uh, is uh, a fine athlete in his own right. He's not as fast as Gail, but then again, there he is. But at least 
right, Jay, you don't have to bring her in by 12 anymore. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, RJ, I can't think of a better husband for my daughter or a finer son in law. Yes. Gail, RJ, to you, Gail, and to you, RJ, I'd like to wish you both God's blessing, mm -hmm. God's grace, oh, yeah. and above all, God's speed. Come on, girl. I thought you said this is gonna be the last mile. Catch up, RJ. All right now. Don't think I can't catch you. All right, where you going? Where you going? Come on, Come on now. Come on. I got you. I got you now. I'm coming. Ah! Oh! Ah. <laughs> Come here, you. Let's have to get away. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you want some more, don't you? <laughs> buy a house. I mean a big house. Yeah, with lots of rooms. And a garden full of flowers. And a fireplace. Yeah, and a dog. Oh, got to have a dog. Mm -hmm. Look after you and the kids when I'm not at home. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to worry about my little family. McCants, Shannon Woods, and Gail Devers.
are you doing? Nothing, I'm fine. Sir, this race takes 50 strides. No more, no less. You're four more better than five. I'm just a little tired, that's all. Tired? The tired is in, uh, you got too much sleep, or tired is in, uh, you, you know. I got just the right amount. Mm -hmm. you just got the right amount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. What do you see? Where? Down there. Tell me what you see. Lane? Past that. The wall? Past that. I can't see past the wall. Right. I can't see past the wall. Do you want to win the gold? Yeah, Do win. you want to win the gold? Yeah, I want to win the gold. See, what you don't know is you already got it. It's out there waiting for you to claim it. So you've got to use your mind and your heart. But imagine yourself already winning that race. Imagine yourself crossing that finish line. First. Huh? And you trace the steps that got you there backwards. So you end up right here. Right now. I don't want to hear it. Two 100 meter repeats. Chop, chop, right now. Right now. Yeah, why do you take that shit from him? Same reason everybody else does. Best track coach in the world. Says him. Says everybody. I don't want to talk about Kersey anymore tonight. I just want to go to sleep. My head is killing me. Well, man, what you got on? Hmm. Yeah, what you doing now? Oh, my eye hurts. Hmm. Here. Let me kiss it and make it better. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Oh. RJ. Mm-hmm. Huh? RJ. What do you see? What? There. What do you see? RJ, I'm too tired for you. I see you're not looking, but I am. And I don't just see a bed and some sheets and pillows. Oh, no. Mm. No. Oh, what do no. you see? Uh, what you got to see to the other side of that bed, past those sheets and pillows. See, you got to see your fulfillment already there. Sexual ecstasy. Just waiting to be claimed. Now. I'm not sure I want to claim But you got to. It's already there. You ready to
You can be out here all night if you want to. Okay, when we gonna start moving these numbers in the right direction? Huh? I don't know. Is it fear, Levers? Because fear is not real, you know. It's just an excuse to keep you from doing the work that you ought to be doing. Bobby, I'm not trying to get no, out. No, you're of... not. Hey, Diva. You think the Europeans are hitting the showers? Somebody's been doing too much honeymooning. Yeah, it's RJ's cooking. Yeah, well, don't say that to Bobby. <laughs> no, that's right. What? You're not pregnant, are you? No, I'm not pregnant. No, I just waited with my flesh, that's all. I. I know it can happen on a honeymoon. Well, it didn't. <laughs> of course, when I think about it, when Bobby and I first got married, uh -huh. the next time I looked up, I was carrying five pounds of somebody else's boots. <laughs> Bobby. And I know he had something to say oh, about it, too. Get up, Bobby Chan. You girls just in time. Team way in. Stand oh. on the line there. No, I gotta go. Sorry I can't stay, Dr. Otis. Hi, baby. When did you get home? Three hours ago. Practice ran long today. I had to stop at the store. I got home as soon as I could. How was your meeting? My job stinks, Kale. You know, and I wanted to come home and tell you about it. I even hoped that maybe you might have even had dinner ready for me. Imagine that. Well, I'm making dinner for you right now. I've already eaten. Three hours. Three hours, Gail. I told you practice ran long tonight. Look, you don't have to run every second of every day. Well, you certainly live in proof of that.
I'll be back on the 27th. How am I supposed to reach you in Korea? Oh, there's a phone number on the refrigerator. Just in case. Thanks. They say it's gonna be warm over there, so I'm not gonna take a lot of stuff. Oh, do you know where my red sweatshirt is? The clothes hamper, last time I saw it. Hello. Hi, Mima. Well, yeah, it'll take you about an hour to get here. I'll be ready for sure by then. Hold on. Baby, I gotta go. Call you, RJ. Chumbi. right position? Are all the test results in? Well, what can it be? We want an answer. It's nothing. We can't find a thing. Look, the x-rays are clear. And that's all you can tell us? Let me see for yourself. It's probably just stress. Doctor, my daughter is an athlete. She's a fine-tuned machine. She knows when there's something wrong. And so do I. Please, you're always free to seek a second opinion. Ms. Devers, I believe that this is an emotional response. Oh, my God. Is there something bothering you? There's nothing bothering her at all. Thank you, Doctor. Nothing, huh? That's what they say. Unless they say I have everything. Which is the same as nothing. I'm the sickest healthy person around. They, they don't know what it is. They mostly say it's stress. Well, the doctors, they already know what they're talking about. That's what it is, then. They don't know. Only I know what's wrong with me. They do, huh? Mm -hmm. What is it? When I started running, it was almost by accident. My mother said I had stolen a star from the sky. And I would look up into the night and I'd wonder which star I'd stolen. And then I got scared. So I realized if I had stolen a star, it wouldn't be up there, it would be with me. And wouldn't God want it back? I'm saying God came and took his star and stuck it back up in the sky. Maybe he doesn't want me running anymore. 
What do you think? What do I think? I think it's the most weird you've said at one time since I know you. Hey, it's getting a little late. Let's go. Now I'm gonna sit here for a while. Practice tomorrow, Divas. You ready? Running is your gift, Divas. You had a free tense to your time. You must be marked or something. It's great Gail Divas. It's Mrs. Hampton. Oh, excuse me. Mrs. Hampton. I haven't seen your husband around here in so many months. I thought you might have been a widow. And by the way, hey, we don't believe in Godspeed here on my track. We rely on our own. Got it? Now do it again. And faster this time. Come on! Joe, you're right! How come you didn't do that in the first place? You run faster with mad, huh? Atta girl! Check it out. Hey, Gail! Where's she going? No, no, I mean, where the hell is he? Maybe I should go back. Well, are you crazy for what? I've been trying to get you to see him for who he really is all along, Gail. Yeah? Yeah, I knew you'd get it one day, eh? Roger, please. But he wouldn't talk to a man like that. No, no, you're not going back to him, Gail. I'm serious. I'm putting my foot down. But you go sneaking behind my back. And where am I going to find myself a coach? I'm not going to give up running. Where? I'll tell you where. He knows even more. It'd be great. We can work together every day. Hey, who knows more about the length of these legs and where they lead than I do? Huh? You'd really coach me. I promise, RJ. I'm a man of my word. And you know that. Come on, let's go. One more set. Hey, Gail. How you feeling? I'm okay. Good. Just going off, baby. She doesn't want to see you. Ever. Why don't you let Gail tell me that? Look, she doesn't even want to see you to tell you she doesn't want to see you. That's how much she doesn't want to see you. is training her now. What? RJ is training her now. Well, did you talk to Gail? No. You know you didn't help the situation anybody? What are you talking about? I got her to the games, and the fact that she lost, that's not my fault. You got her to the games? Yes, I got her to the games. No. She got herself there with your help. <sighs> At least there's some other runners who do want my help. Yeah? yeah. None as fast as Gail. No sense. How is RJ gonna help Gail win anything? Let alone some gold.
Now you promised you'd come with me. You said this morning you'd come. Uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. Are you gonna train me or what? I will do it this weekend, I promise. This is the third time, RJ. I need you to come with me. Baby, I gotta be a working nine. Come on now, I'm tired. I wouldn't have phoned up Dodis, but we were the last hope. It's fine, man. Sit down. Oh. I... I haven't been feeling well. Uh-huh. Right, I see. How long ago did this start? I don't know. A year? No longer while I was still on the team. Well, I see your skin. Something's wrong with me, isn't it? Gail, I, I believe something is wrong. I have a friend of mine, Dr. Ginsburg. He's a wonderful doctor. And I, I want you to see him. And you tell him everything you told me. Nothing. Is there something bothering you? It's probably just stress. Dr. Otis, I need you to come with me. Oh, Gail, you, you just tell him. No, 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 I need exactly. you to come with me. I need you to tell him. You tell everybody. Nobody believes me. Okay. Bet you just came from the track. Bet you're thirsty. Come on, let's get something to drink. Hmm? But he was easy to talk to, that's for sure. Yeah. I didn't get some answers. Marvin? Dr. Otis? Gail. Mm-hmm. Well, Gail, your thyroid's out of whack. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, the thyroid's a gland. Located right about, right about here. And it secretes hormones that uh, control your metabolism, your nervous system, and the action of your muscles. At least that's what it's supposed to do. But yours is not working very well. That's also why your weight goes up and down. I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew there was something wrong all the time. Well, you're definitely not imagining things, Gail. That's good to hear. Graves' disease is very real. How serious is it? You see, your thyroid is twice the size that it should be. So? And we need to get it back down to normal size. Well, how are you going to do that? Well, to be honest... Please. I'm going to need some time before I can advise you on the best treatment. Treat? So there's a cure. Doctor, there is a cure, isn't there? What are you telling me? No cure. Just getting ready to start calling around for you. 
There's no cure, RJ. Nothing. For the rest of my life. Oh, no, maybe they're wrong again. No. No, not this time. Come on, baby. Come on. Everything's gonna be just fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, he can come to me. Read it and weep. Get him till he have to. Snap with a 24 shot clock. Come on, he's too slow, man. That's the time to get come on. Last horse did not run out. Hold on. Three, two, Time out. Yeah, well, you already knew that. Got to get back to the game, baby. Yeah. Gia's not doing too well. She's worse than we thought. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Roger. You guys ready to come out here? She won't be all right? Excuse me. Leave a message and we'll call you back. Hey, Gail? This is Bobby. Pick up. Gail? All right, this is Bobby. Call me when you get this message, all right? each other, baby. No more heartbreak about running after the gold. We can settle down and be normal. Have a family. Just be together. When will I be able to run again? Well, you may be able to run again someday. When? Well, I'm recommending radiation therapy to shrink your thyroid, Gail, and I expect very good results from that. But the side effects can be very uncomfortable. Now, the beta blockers will help your body through all of that. They're going to protect you. But, Gail, you've got to understand one thing. This whole treatment is going to slow you down. It'll be a very long time before... before you have the energy to run again. Hey, hey, hey. Hold up. About you, no? Dr. Otis called me. She, she told me about your illness. So I took Otis to convince you. Oh, come on. I knew there was something wrong, but I just couldn't put my finger on it. I did try to call you. Hey, hey, you're gonna beat this. You might even run again. You don't know anything about my business, Bobby. Hey, Gail. You ain't tough. Gail, let's go. Park the red. Here's my ride. You all right? It's cool. Come on, let's go.
have reached the International Athletic Medical Hotline. The following are a list of drugs banned by current guidelines. All steroids. Corticotrophin, erythropoietin, and somatotrophin are also included in this group. All beta blockers are also banned. If the use of any banned drug is detected, the offender is subject to due process and possible expulsion from the game for two years to life. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you sick? Are you sick? Yo, not one. Not one. You haven't taken one, yo. I'm not gonna sit here. No, you're killing yourself. You're fucking killing me. I'm not taking it anymore. You're gonna take these pills. You don't understand. I do understand. I know right now. You gotta stop, girl. You gotta stop. I'm not taking this shit no more. I'm not taking it, girl. She's not taking this medication because she believes you want her to go back to the game. I didn't tell her that. It doesn't matter. You and I both know Gail is never going to run again. So even if the beta blockers are banned by the committee, she'll never be tested because her running career is over. Look, you are her husband. You tell her to take it. No, no, you're the great Bob Kersey. This is the guru. Yeah, that's right. That's Come right. On. She'll listen to you before she listens to me. She always has. She hasn't done that in a long time, and you know when that stopped. falling out. Her legs bleed, her face peels. So will you please tell her to take the beta blockers? I don't know. I'll think about it, okay? I'll think about it. How's it going? All right. The pain's not as bad as they say. Good. And the radiation will be over soon. How soon? Soon enough. Oh. Soon enough for Boston Loan. I don't think we should be worried about Boston Loan right now. This grass needs to be watered. You're thinking I should take that medicine, huh? Maybe. <laughs> you 
you can't even say it. <laughs> Bob Kersey never just thinks maybe about anything. You really don't want me to take that medicine. I can't tell you. So you can't do it. You can't tell me to give up any hope I have of ever going to the game. Skip, yeah, listen, please. Tell me to take them and I will. Well, look, I, I can't tell you. I lied about the pain. It's bad. It's real bad. Tell me to take them. Gail. I get night sweats. My head aches so bad I'm afraid I'm gonna die. And then I'm afraid I'm, I'm afraid I'm not gonna die. Gail. Tell me to take them, Bobby. Please, Gail. Should I take them? What are you doing? Just say yes and I will. I can't wait. wait. Come on. Oh, get, hey! Come on up and hand it to me. What are you doing? Tell Jackie I see. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. Rise and shine, and I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. Here's my baby. Hi. I'm so glad you came. Look who's here, everybody. How y'all doing? Um, Papa's in the den. Oh, yeah, I think so. 
Hey, Papa. Hi, sweetie. Happy birthday. Thank you. This is for you. Oh, whoa. What is this? Yeah. Open it and see. Okay, I need it. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna get something to drink. All right. Where's R.J. coming with? I don't know. You don't know when he's coming? Papa, I don't even know where he's at. I have him for over a week or more. Well, I don't understand. Where would R.J. be? I don't know, Papa. He stopped leaving me notes a long time ago. Wait, I don't understand. Like, what did you two have? A fight or something? What is all this about, huh? Look at me. What do you mean? Well, honey, that's well, going to this, honey, that's Would y'all just look at me? Sweetheart, that's going to go away. Yes. Somebody help me, Gail, please. Gail, Gail, come on. Help you? <laughs> Sweetheart, I've always told you, God will find a way. No, please, Papa, I don't know any more friends. Gail, don't you talk that way in this house. Gail. Why does God hate me? God does not hate you. Then why doesn't he help me? Sweetheart, did you... Come stay with us. Come home with us. Come home. What are you... Stay here. Oh, yeah, that, did he leave you? you come oh, here. That's stay where you should us. be, sweetheart. No, no. You should be with us. I'm not saying you leave this. I can't, can't stay I want to take care of you. You shouldn't be alone, You can't control yourself. You can't. I'm going after her. No, 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 no. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. She wants to be alone. That's our baby. She needs us. I know that. There's nothing we can do about it now. It's in God's hands. It's, it's God's, God's will. God's hands. God's will. God, God, God. When are you going to see that it was Gail's will to run all those hurdles? Gail's will to break through all those finishing tapes? Wasn't Gail's will there somewhere? When are you going to get Gail credit for what she's done? When are you going to stop putting God in your place? by herself, Bobby. Oh, I'm still here. Well, then she's not gonna want to see us. Bobby, what? I'm going in. Come on. Come on.
Hey, Gail. Hey, girl. Yep. Call her next time. Next time she better answer. Done. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, we got Kill. Come on. RJ, no. RJ, where is she? Uh, I found her at the house. I didn't. You didn't find her. You left her. No, 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 no. I, I tried. RJ, don't I you stand there and tell me you tried to do anything. 
You abandoned my daughter. That's what you did. I did you not. You abandoned I, I, I her when she needed you most. She cut me out. You did. She didn't want me. Well, that's not true. I told her to take that medication. Is she... Where is she? I don't... Where is she? What room is she in? I can't do this. I'm out of here. You won't listen to me. You handle it. Where's Dr. Ginsburg? Where's the doctor? He, he must be Larry, here he is. How is Gail? Where is she? Well, Mr. Devers, Reverend. Gail's been hemorrhaging a lot. I'm going to see her. Oh, he put you. Hemorrhaging from what? It's a side effect due to the high radiation toxicity level. Gail's going to recover from this, and there'll be no more radiation treatments. Oh, thank God. But the damage to her feet is critical. How critical? Not taking the beta blockers. Wait a minute, Doctor. What are you talking about, beta blockers? I'm sorry. I gave her some medicine that she was supposed to take that would help her through this period, and for some reason she didn't. It's compromised her immune system. It's left her vulnerable to infection. Doctor, please. Worst case? She might have to have her feet amputated. Oh, my God. No, sir. Oh, oh no. Can we go see her? Why don't you look after each other, Reverend, and I'll come and get you oh, next time. No. I'm sorry. I swear to you. No, 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 come on. No. I need you to be spoken to her. I mean, we don't know. Still waiting to hear. What happened? Bobby, she is so sick, she may never walk again. Never walk? Yeah, Dr. Ginsburg said that he, uh, I mean, she hadn't been taking some medication he prescribed for her. Oh. Yeah, Archie mentioned that a few weeks ago. So you knew? Well, I visited with him. We talked about it. Bobby, are you telling me that you never told her to take that medication? No. She said, uh, she knew what she wanted. Well, I'm just a little confused. For six years now, she's done everything you've said. Reverend Devers, on that track and in that gym, I'm God. She does what I tell her to do. But this came from inside Gail. Said she knew what she wanted. There was nothing I could say. If something happens to Gail, it'll kill her mother. You just have to have faith that everything will be all right. You believe in God, Bobby? I believe in Gail. I believe you do. I believe you do. Can I go see her? Please. I should have taken that medicine. What's that? What's what? What do 
you see? You mean the wall? Is that what you see? A wall? Mm -hmm. Cause that's not what I see. Cause I'm looking through it. Past the parking lot. The road and the houses. To the track and I'm not just walking I'm running look at me Bobby you said you said the race I'm gonna run is out there waiting to be claimed. I'm claiming it right here, right now. I'm already running. through one of them damn things. <laughs> Yeah. You see, Mrs. Johnson, peeping out of the window. You don't mean that. Watch your feet. Yeah. I can turn off the dial. Yeah. 
Being alive's enough. Well, you got that right. <laughs> Listen, Gail, I'm real sorry about RJ. RJ had a right to run. I've been running from him for long enough. Would you like some iced tea? Yeah. I made some for you special. Bobby, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna live with this for the rest of my life. But the medicine's gonna keep it under control. Keep me from having a relapse. Yeah. Bobby. Yeah. I wanna go to Barcelona. Uh, no problem. Get your box seats. Back side. Where's the sugar? Barcelona is uh, only 18 months away. The trial is no more than a year away. Mm -hmm. I know. Are you sure you know? Remember when I told you about my star? I said God took it away. Yeah. Well, I'm taking it back. It's mine, and I want it. Well, what about your feet? Oh, like you say, Bobby, what do my feet have to do with running? No more than flesh on bone. Just flesh on bone. Ah. Bobby, I, I can't. I'm sure you can. Come on, come on, try. No, Bobby, I thought I could. Okay, okay. But I can't. <laughs> you know what I was thinking about? I remember the first time I ever saw you race. It was high school. 
1984. Boy, you were something. You ran just like a gazelle. You was fast, Fury. You won that first race by, I think, about three inches. You must have run 600 miles <laughs> in preparation for that race. But three inches. Hey, you can give me the three inches now? This is the three inches. That dog. Woo! <laughs> and then, you know, the first time you ran for me at SC, right? I must have run you some 800 miles in preparation. You won that race, I think, by about, uh, I think it was four inches, didn't it? Hmm? Let's try four inches now. of one young lady. I'm talking about Gail Devers. You're absolutely right. Now, ladies and gentlemen at home, it's not a ghost you see on the screen, but it's Gail Devers in the flesh. She's back, she's ready to run, but the question is, can she run against this world-class field and the presence of Gwen Torrance? Gail Devers is in lane five. The main competition this heat will come from Cuthbert of Jamaica in lane four and Privilova from the unified team in lane six. They're both excellent runners and right on either side of her. Well, there's Gwen Torrance, uh -huh. sizing up her competition. <laughs> I'd say. Lista! Oh, not a good start for Devers, but it is a strong start out of the blocks for Cuthbert. Devers and Privilova running second and third. And the top three, Cuthbert, Devers, and Privilova, moving on to the final. Privilova.
I, I just want to tell you, Gail. Fine. I'll see you on the other side. Gail, Dave. And I see your life in my mind. It's on tape in my head. And I play it every day. And I rewind it, you know, and I play it again. And then when I put it on pause, I stand back in awe. Girl, the champion. Keep going, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event is the finals of the women's 100 meters. Second place, 
Cuthbert of Jamaica. And first place, Seabird, USA, with a time of 10.82 seconds. See, what you don't know is that you've already got it. It's out there waiting for you to claim. You gotta imagine yourself already winning that race. Imagine yourself crossing that finish line first. Huh? I read 